today's episode, guys, we're pulling the small block Chevy 350 out of my 1990 Camaro. Let's get started. Hi there, everybody. Uh, today is a big day for the Camaro here. Uh, it's finally time to pull this engine out of it. Uh, if you guys have been following along with the project here, uh, you know that the engine has developed some sort of knock. I think it's a, uh, a rod knock on the main journal down in the crank. Uh, I'm not going to really be able to know unless I pull the engine. Uh, I've gone through and checked all the lifters and all that typical stuff that you check for for any type of knock noise. I'll actually put in a, uh, a little clip of the video I did last to show you guys the, show you guys the noise that it's making. Um, but it's going to be a pretty easy pull, honestly. Uh, I've done it a couple times with this engine already. I just have to go through, undo all the electrical nonsense with the Holly EFI, uh, the distributor, the headers, obviously the Holly sniper has to come off there. I want to redo this alternator stuff, so that's going to be going, and I think that alternator is actually bad as well. Um, I'll, when we were messing with it, guys, the ground and... The power that was hooked up to it was just acting real strange. It was getting the uh, the alternator itself super hot. So there's something going on electrical with it. Maybe I can solve it and figure it out, but I don't know. I'm going to have to mess with it. Uh, but the bracketry, it's all custom stuff, so I'd like to redo that and make it right for once. Uh, radiator, I'd like to keep in, but I think it's going to have to come out. It's a pretty big one, so I don't know if the engine's going to be able to come out with that in. I doubt it. Uh, I'm also going to try to get the engine and the transmission detached from each other, which is pretty hard to do in these third gen Camaros. You have to go underneath there and lower the transmission down and get a, a long extension and get onto those uh, bell housing bolts and loosen them up so you can actually get it out. You can't just reach back there easily and get to them. Uh, other than that, I need to take off this front clip here. That's just a couple bolts, not too bad. Trying to think of anything else I have to do for it. I think that's just about it. Like I said, I've pulled this thing like three or four times out of this car. So I've uh, I've had some practice doing it. Shouldn't be an issue by myself. I already got the 400 block onto a tire here. We'll talk about that block in a later episode. <laughs> but other than that, this thing's uh, just about ready to go. So uh, let's get this thing started. actually get started and start taking all this apart. It's gonna be fun. Let's get started. Okay, front clip is off. Not too bad to do there. Uh, makes it a lot easier to get in there with the engine hoist on these third gens and pick that engine right out. Um, it's just a couple bolts, so no big deal. But now I have the opportunity to get all this janky stuff that I had going on to uh, finally get it right. Maybe paint these guys here, get that trans cooler actually mounted up right, get rid of all the zip ties and stuff like that. Um, all right, but other than that, let's start on plugging some stuff and uh, get this engine out.
All right. So I'm gonna drain that for today. I'm probably gonna go in and eat, call it a night. But tomorrow this engine's gonna be coming out and uh, we'll start that whole fiasco. All right, everybody, as you can see behind me, the engine's ready to come out. Uh, I think I have everything off that needs to be off for it to come out. Uh, I have the headers loose. Hopefully I can get those out without messing up any spark plugs. If I have to take those out, it's no big deal. Uh, all the accessories are out, radiators out, power steering stuff's all good. Um, I'm gonna try to leave the starter on. We're gonna see how that goes. I don't want to pull it off because those things weigh what feels like about 800 pounds and they're not fun. So hopefully I can just pluck this thing out with no issues. Um, but that leaves one last thing for me to do here and that is my good buddy Dick Ham here. He has a YouTube channel as well. He works on cars and crazy stuff like this as well. And uh, he sent me a sticker here so I'm going to throw it on my engine hoist about right here. Give me a little motivation to get this engine out of here and get this project moving. So uh, let's get started. Okay guys, spark plugs are out on both sides. Uh, let's give this another shot. Almost there, guys. Okay, she's out. Okay, guys, there it is. The engine's out of the car here. Uh, this is a small block Chevy 350. Came out of a third gen Camaro here. Uh, I did it without removing the transmission, which a lot of guys say it's pretty hard to do. Uh, I think with the accessories removed and a lot of that stuff out of the way, I was able to reach those bell housing bolts pretty easily um, but anyways in the next couple episodes guys I'm gonna be dissecting this engine and seeing what exactly went wrong why we have so much metal in the oil stuff like that so stay tuned on here subscribe if you guys want to see some more stuff on this and uh, also everyone's suggesting to look at the flywheel here I went through it just looking at it after it's been pulled here and it looks totally fine so nothing along those lines I think went wrong I think it's some sort of bearing on the inside so Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.